Hello everyone, welcome back to SBR Pythons. Uh, today we've got a video which has been requested a couple of times sort of in the last month or so. Um, so I'm finally getting around to it. Um, I'm sort of doing some recordings today because I've got some free time um, and these will be coming out over the course of the next few weeks as um, the chances are when I eventually do get back to work um, it's going to be a chaotic situation and I'm not going to get a chance to really record so I'm trying to get ahead of it so that you guys still get the content. Um, but yeah, today as I say we're going to do a sort of exciting video um, just talking a little bit about uh, longer sort of term projects. Um, so I've told you really what I'm doing this year, but I'm now going to go into a little bit more detail in what we're planning on doing in 2021, 2022, um, and then other projects that sort of we want to enter. Obviously, sort of I mentioned the Scaleless and the Desert Ghost um, recently, um, but there are two others that spring to mind um, which aren't really on the scene yet, um, which I'm excited to see what sort of happens there. Um, and as I said, just going through our collection and what I have sort of planned for each animal. Um, so I want to start off, um, we, we might as well start at the top tub here. Um, so we've got the Enchi Calico Het Pied, um, which I'll pull out for you guys, because uh, she is quite eye-pleasing, I must admit. Although she might be in shed saying that. Yeah, so this girl is in shed, so obviously I appreciate the fact she's in shed and she's not going to have all of her yellows. But um, this girl is easily sort of one of the most eye candy pieces of SBR pythons, just because of that insane ringer there, um, which I'm sure I've highlighted to you guys before. Um, but obviously, being calico, um, it's a bit of an untapped potential, in my opinion, in Pied, um, as I highlighted on the genes I thought worked within Pied. Um, so I really want to, with this project, just integrate that calico, as I say. So she's not breeding this year, um, so her first sort of year uh, will probably be going over some sort of Enchi combo to get Super Enchi calico Pieds. Um, and then 2022, maybe I'll try and int introduce some other codoms. Um, you know, hopefully I have Orange Dream and Special floating around by then as well. And we can start to enrich those colours um, because the, the pattern sort of gets washed out with the calico effect, as I've said, which is beautiful. Um, so I'm wondering what would happen if you take sort of uh, that washout effect and maybe put Orange Dream or Special in. Something like that. That's sort of the thought process for this girl and what I'm planning on doing for this girl for the next couple of years. Um, before we go any further, uh, I probably should have started this uh, with this, but um, just remember that obviously males do change from year to year. You know, I've got the five males I've got here um, for the 2020, uh, 2020 season, um, but I've, you know, sort of figured out which ones, uh, which females I think are going to breed this year and sort of what projects I'm expecting to go and had a look at my males and the chances are three of these males will probably uh, move on from SBR pythons and be replaced by the offspring this year. Um, so just remember, obviously, that the males can change and therefore the projects may change. But um, I'm basing it on sort of the genes and the animals that I've got now and what I may produce this year in terms of what might be going over these females next year. But we'll move on to the next one, um, which is the yellow belly het pied from Martin Ender, who is one of my favourite animals in this collection um, just because it screams quality, um, which if anyone knows sort of uh, Martin Ender's animals, uh, that's no surprise, really. Um, which is one of the reasons he's one of the guys I look up to in Europe. Uh, but this girl is an absolutely incredible animal. Um, so I've highlighted this girl before. Um, she's rich in yellows, uh, rich in colour. Um, got a nice little head stamp going on as well. And obviously that belly. Um, literally sort of, you know, where does the yellow belly come from? You're looking at it. Um, absolutely incredible animal. Now, what are my plans for this girl? Well, she could have technically bred late this year, to be honest. I didn't think she was going to grow this fast, but she is two years old and she's just broke 1.5 kilos. But I'm just going to keep raising her up and she should hopefully be two kilos by the time I sort of breed her in next year in 2021. Sort of next, I say next year, but I mean this season. That's all right, girly. Um, but she will probably be going over um, some sort of uh, gravel combo from the banana gravel hep pied to NGP yellow belly hep pied that I produced from this year again, um, just because I need sort of as many females as possible for that project to sort of get to that end goal of the banana and the highways and the other genes stacked on top. So to be fair, she might be reserved for that project, or I might end up, you know, holding back another female from uh, that clutch this year, um, which is the chances are I will, because as I said, I'm probably not going to sell much of that sort of clutch. So the chances are I will be keeping them back. And then this girl, because of those rich colours and that beautiful quality, I might use her in a different project. You know, I might throw her into Orange Dream um, and Special. Um, you know, I think Orange Dream Special Yellow Belly might be incredible. So maybe I'll start working towards that. But that's sort of the, the plans really for this girl. Um, she sort of, you know, keep it simple because there's only one gene involved. Um, and I'm not understating that at all. As I've said, this is one of my favorites in the collection easily. So the next animal uh, in the racks is actually the Special Het Pied. Uh, I've not pulled her out just because I think she's going into Shed as well. 
um, and so I don't really, you know, she's not got the perfect colours, so there's no point in disturbing her really. Um, but her plans are very simple. Um, she will be going over the Enchi Orange Dream, sort of, um, hopefully he'll prove out and we get a visual um, in 2021. Um, that she can go to in 2022 but for next year she'll probably go over the entry orange dream post double head ultra male pied and start working towards special in ultra male pieds um, and in general sort of a triple code on pied so it's very simple with her um, special was one of those jeans i looked for for a long time um, and so i was really chuffed to get her um, and obviously billy uh, mutation creation just did a video um, sort of i don't know when you're going to be seeing this but if you go back onto billy's channel then you'll see he's just done a video on special and some of the combinations that come with special um, you know, excluding and including pied. So definitely go and check that out. Uh, the next animal is the Enchi Pinstripe Yellow Belly Het Pied, who I've not got out because I've shown her plenty on the channel because I absolutely love that female. Um, and also she is now gravid. Um, so she's about, uh, on the time of recording, about 25 days off of having her clutch of eggs. So don't really want to disturb her. But her plans are very simple. Banana gravel, probably for the next sort of two or three years, um, she'll be going over either him or offspring from clutches. Uh, in that project because obviously the end goal there is that banana highway pie project with Enchi and Pinstripe involved as well. And then swiftly moving on to the next one is this banana head pie. Now her 2021 plans are the exact same as her 2020 plans were. Um, but obviously I did bring her out the breeding season because ever since introducing the male for the first time in December, this girl has been off of food. Um, you can see sort of body condition is absolutely perfect. She's about 1.4, 1.45 kilos. Uh, beautiful female. Um, she's just decided to stop eating ever since having that one lock with the male. Um, now you could put that down to the fact she might be gravid and this, that, and the other, but there's no way, sort of, I know this animal and uh, she's not. Um, it's just a case if she doesn't want to eat. But as I say, her 2021 plans are very simple. Um, it's to go for the super banana gravel pied again. Um, again, sort of, as I've mentioned on the channel, just trying to create that yellow and white snake um, without having albino, uh, albino involved, sorry. Um, so that's the very short term goal with her. 2022, you know, maybe um, she might have been replaced, to be honest, by then um, from a female that I'm raising from the banana gravel clutch this year. So I can't really say if she'll be here in 2022, but if she is, you know, um, probably some more banana, uh, super banana combos, because um, I really like the super bananas. Uh, maybe I'll try and get uh, black pastel back involved, because um, that was the initial reason for picking this girl up, um, was I knew that long term I wanted to get a black pastel in my collection. Um, and so maybe I'll start shooting for the black pastel banana pied again in 2022, but who knows? But uh, yeah, she's a beautiful animal and uh, can't wait until she does eventually start, you know, sort of getting into the breeding cycle properly. So the next animal is this um, beautiful Mystic Het Pied. Now I'm sure when I pulled this out, anyone that's new to the channel thought this might have been Mojave, um, but this is Mystic. Uh, it's very similar. It's sort of in the same complex as, as Phantom um, and it is sort of related, not related, but um, it is similar to Mojave. Um, but this girl is around a kilo now, absolutely beautiful female, a uh, bit of a fussy feeder in that she might eat one week and then not eat the next, and that's probably why she hasn't already reached 1.5 um, kilos, because she is two years old. Yeah, two years old. So 2021 plans with her. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I've really been waiting to see what happens with Mystic Pides this year um, in 2020, and then, you know, something might pop out that you didn't expect or we didn't expect. So hopefully that happens and then I'll know my 21, 2021 and 2022 plans for her. Um, but otherwise, it's just a bit of an unknown project. Um, you know, I got offered a good deal on this girl and that's never a reason to pick a snake up. Um, it just happened that I was getting some other snakes on that shipment. So I thought I'd throw this girl in for whatever price it was and just sort of play around with the Mystic gene because there's not too much Mystic Pied stuff being done. So... I thought, you know, I might as well jump in on it. And that's the reason I picked this girl up. So she's a bit of an undetermined project, a uh, female. Oh, you're right, girl. Um, but yeah, definitely sort of nowhere near um, sort of sure on what I want to be doing with her. But the greens that are coming through sort of down the sides here um, are absolutely incredible still. So next up, this wonderful pastel pied who I can't speak highly enough. Um, the fact that she is uh, nearly two kilos and still has these rich yellows down the side here. Um, and on the back, to be fair, this girl has just held her yellows incredibly well for a pastel pied. Um, her short-term plans are the same. So 2020, she has been bred, but I don't think she's going to go. Um, so 2021 will be the same same male, which is the Enchi Orange Dream post, post Double Head Ultra Male Pied. Um, the reason for that is obviously she's visual, so that'll prove out whether that male is, is Head Pied or not, quite frankly. It should do anyway. Um, and then sort of, you know, Enchi Orange Dream pastels that are visual or even just het um, that are also post het ultra male uh, would be incredible because then I can get sort of some more genes involved with my ultra male pie project. 
Um, so yeah, I can talk about them a little bit, uh, a little bit about my Ultra Pod project a little bit later. Um, but this girl is absolutely incredible. So that's the very simple plans for her. I might as well talk about the pied since as I've got a pied out. Um, you know, there's no point in me disturbing all of the females today. Um, so the pied plans are very simple. Um, she has been over the Enchi, Super Enchi Fire Hit Pied. Um, you, know, you guys know that I've been shooting for the Enchi Fire Pied big time this year. I'm not sure whether I'm going to get it. So the 2021 plans will probably be something simple like just hitting that Enchi Fire Pied still. Um, and then to be fair, both of these girls, I have no intentions of selling. Um, proven Pied females um, are always welcome here at SBR sort of thing. So, you know, 2022 plans for both of these girls, just get more, more codoms involved. Um, it's very simple. Um, but you know, still very exciting. Um, sorry, this girl just absolutely blows me away. The yellows and that pattern, as I've highlighted, is, is just incredible. So next up is easily one of the fan favorites uh, for SBR Pythons. It's this Pastel Leopard Blade, 100% Het Clown, 66% Het Pied. Um, this is an absolutely incredible female. Again, beautiful line of pastel with the yellows coming through. The leopard has such a crazy effect on the pattern. It's, it's honestly beautiful. And I'm also putting this sort of striping effect down to the blade. Um, so beautiful female. Um, you can definitely tell there's a Het Clown influence here from just how bright she is. Um, and hopefully, I mean, there's absolutely no way of telling this girl. This girl is a pot guess um, whether she's Het Pied or not, to be fair, because, you know, you're not going to get any markers with that leopard or, or anything like that. So here's the hoping. Um, but the short term plans for her, sort of 2021, is just to prove her out. Um, and then if she stays around, because I'm very much of the approach that if it's not Het Pied, it's, it's not got a place here um, just because I only work with Pied. So if she doesn't prove out, you know, she probably won't be here in 2022. But if she does, then, you know, this girl becomes an incredibly powerful animal um, as if she isn't already for SBR Pythons. And um, we start getting more genes involved. Um, the next animal, the next female, uh, I should say, is the Pastel Double Het Clown Pied, who I'm not going to get out because... Um, at the time of recording, I'm pretty sure she is about a week away from her ovulation. Um, so hopefully she'll ovulate for us soon. Short term plans for her, just continue to make clown pides um, if I don't hit them this year sort of thing. And 2022 is the exact same. Um, it's just I want to get more genes involved in my clown pides. Um, whether that's yellow belly, whether that's orange dream, uh, enchi, special, you name it. Um, I just want to get some more genes involved in my clown pides because right now, um, if you take into account, I've got the pastel leopard blade, which you're seeing, the pastel double head, and also the pastel double head over here in the mail rack. Um, I've got three copies of pastel, leopard, oh, sorry, leopard and blade. Um, so um, I'm sort of, I need to get more genes involved. Um, so that's sort of the, the long term and short term goal of the clown pie project here at SBR Pythons. So the next uh, two females in the racks and the next project in the racks is the ultra male pied. So on my right hand here, um, which is on your left, is the normal 100% Het for Ultramel, 50% Het for Pied. Um, they're sort of curled up, but um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys, but the risk I took with this girl is she has some incredible Het Pied markers, so hopefully she'll prove out. And then there's also this female, which is the Fire Double Het Ultramel Pied from Dean Van Omer at Dean Reptiles. Um, so obviously I've got two females for this project, which is crucial. Short-term project is hopefully that they'll be breeding in 2021. Both of them are quite picky when it comes to food, but hopefully... Um, and then the long-term project is to get more genes involved. Um, so as I was talking about earlier, um, if I go for the Enchi Orange Dream post double het, then hopefully, um, you know, fire Enchi Orange Dream Ultra Male Pied sort of um, is the long-term goal here. Uh, but absolutely incredible females, don't get me wrong. This line of fire from Dean is incredible. Um, he had an Orange Dream fire double het that I was so tempted by, but I'm being good at the minute because uh, I know that I'm going to need more racks eventually. So I didn't pick it up, but... Some incredible animals, nonetheless, with these two. Um, and this one's from Ricardo Reese at Most Wanted Pythons. Um, so hopefully, um, as I say, they'll prove out as, well, one of them will uh, prove out as the double het. This one will hopefully prove out as double het. And uh, we can start getting some ultramile pied at SBR Pythons. So the next four animals in the female racks are black pastel het pied, cinnamon het pied, and two normal het pieds. Now, these are fairly easy um, because I know that my short-term projects are pretty much going to be achieved this year. And in terms of long term, I've not really got any for these animals. Um, the two normal hets, to be honest, um, I picked them up or I picked up one of them uh, very early on when I was building this collection. And then the other one I, I picked up because she was a nice big three kilo girl. Uh, but she is sort of getting on the old age and, and maybe she won't breed this year. Who knows? Um, but to be honest, I'll probably sell them at the end of this season. So there's no real long term or short term plans with those girls. In terms of the cinnamon, uh, again, may sell her. Um, I haven't quite decided yet. 
I've really got to think about if I've got any long-term projects for cinnamon in my pied. Uh, if I do hit my eight wall pieds, or if I don't hit the eight wall, eight -wall pied, sorry, probably go for that again in 2021. But who knows? That's sort of sort of going to be determined as to whether I hit the eight wall pied this year. And then the black pastel het pie female, um, she'll be staying around um, in 2021. Um, she'll probably go over to that banana project, as I said. Uh, maybe put her over the banana gravel and go for black pastel banana gravels. Uh, that'd be fairly cool. Uh, pies, obviously. Uh, I keep I, I, when I talk about my projects, I don't really mention the pie because I just assume that everyone knows that's all I'm working with. So I, I do apologise. Um, this boy, um, just quickly going through the mail rack, is very sort of quickly. Uh, this is the Anti Orange Dream Post Double Het Ultra my pied, as I've highlighted before. Incredible animal. Really happy with this boy. I just hope he proves out Het Pied. Um, but, you know, there's no real point in talking about short-term or long-term projects with my males, because as I started the video with, um, to be honest, most of them probably won't be here for more than a year or two. Uh, it's just the way it is in breeding. Um, you know, ultimately, you are trying to produce upgrades for all the animals, and obviously, the males can be upgraded within a year, whereas the females, you might have to raise a female for two or three years before they can re replace the dam. Um, so, to be honest, uh, there's no point hello going into short-term or long-term plans as i say with these males but i have some incredible males here and i'm really happy uh, but hopefully um i can upgrade most of them this year so there we go um i've sort of taken you through the entire collection in, it, in its entirety right now uh, not showing you all of them but sort of going through what i've got and what i'm planning on doing with them uh just very quickly to end the video i want to talk about projects that i'm not in yet uh, but i want to go into or get into sort of shortly um desert ghost pied i've talked about a lot on the channel to be honest I uh, really want to get into that project I uh, want to pick up a double het this year ideally pastel double het because I love how pastel works in Desert Ghost but we shall see scaleless pieds uh, I think I've come to an agreement uh, with JB at Morph City Reptiles to try and work something out about hopefully getting a scaleless head het pied female this year from him which would be fantastic because obviously that's one of the projects I really want to get into the other two that I haven't mentioned on the channel yet and I highlighted at the start of the video is not really being done yet is Sunset Pied and Hurricane Pied. Um, Hurricane Pied has been done, uh, but what I mean is just getting more and more genes involved. You know, I know that there are two and three gene combos out there. Um, I cannot remember the breeder's name. I do apologize, but if you go on Facebook and search Hurricane Pied, you will see it. Um, absolutely incredible. I love the Hurricane and Pied, um, but that's obviously a code on, so it probably will start coming into market more this year. Um, so I can hopefully get my hands on it. And then Sunset Pied, uh, I don't even think this has been done yet. Um, I am a massive Sunset fan. I know that it sort of uh, browns out and some people aren't a fan of that, but I really love the Sunsets. And I think Sunset Pied will be incredible so long as it's not high weight, because obviously we don't really know where that project, it's not been done yet, so it might be a high weight project. Fingers crossed it isn't, and we can see that sunset pattern and colour with the whites involved. I think it would be incredible. So hopefully uh, they're the four projects that I've really got my eyes on. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and it's answered some of the questions that I've been getting just about the animals and what I'm planning on doing with all of them. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment talking about my projects or your projects. Turn the notification bell on and hit the subscribe button and I'll make sure to see you guys next week. Cheers, guys.